Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. This is part of a series on Sketch Basics. On this session, we're going to learn about symbols. Symbols are super powerful and super important and I think uh, makes a Sketch particularly awesome to use. So let's go ahead and learn how to edit them, to create them, and all the cool things that you can do with them, like nest in them. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, symbols are great for elements that are repeated across your design. They share style, position, size, and effects. When you change, change one symbol, it changes everywhere that symbol is being used. And it's useful in elements like, uh, like navigation, on your headers, on your status bar, on your buttons, uh, cards, icons, etc. All elements are going to be repeated and you're going to be using them a lot. You will probably want to use symbols. And it's different from text styles and from graphic styles in that it's like more like a group of elements. And also you can even nest symbols inside symbols. So let's uh, do an exercise real quick so you can learn uh, how to use this. So for example, there's a, if you're using a if you're designing a mobile app, there's a chance that you're going to be using this status bar a lot. So for example, I have this dark and light status bar. So since I'm going to be using it a lot, I'm going to create a symbol. Let me change the, the uh, customize my toolbar so you can see. I'm going to put it icon text done, and you will see here an icon that says create symbol. Uh, a tool so you can select any layer or any group and you can create a symbol so right there i'm going to the status bar dark i'm going to create a symbol and on this one i'm going to create a symbol too status bar light this name is being taken from the layer or the group that you have uh, already put in it so it's already by default giving you the name but you can edit it and change it so and you're seeing that it says send symbols to symbol space the thing is that the first time you create a symbol, it will create a new page where all your symbols live now. So over here on the left, on the pages, you will see that now your symbols are over here. So you can even rearrange them and your symbols live inside an artboard, just as in any other artboard. And over here, if I go back and I want to edit, edit it, I will go to the symbols page and then I can return to the instance where I was editing. So here I cannot really in context i cannot really edit the size or the uh or the elements or the colors or any graphic styles i will have to double click and then here i can change anything i can change it i don't know instead of pm it's going to be am and the same over here instead of am i'm going to change it to pm and now if i go back to my page you will see it there now it's am here and apparently it didn't change it here <laughs> uh, but you see how uh it, it it will change here and also not only that but also uh, for example here i don't know this design changes instead of a dark it changes to light i can just click on it and then here i can see what uh, uh what symbol is being applied. And I can just change it to a different symbol if I need to. So right now I'm going to change it to dark and now it changes to that symbol. So that's pretty cool. Let me uh, undo that. And uh, so that's pretty cool, pretty basic. And, and this elements you're going to be, probably you're going to create once and then you're not going to edit them again. But it comes in pretty handy when you're doing stuff that is repeated, but also you do an edit. For example, here it has a label, but you want to have a list of these elements, of these rows, of these cells, uh, over and over, but uh, you probably want to have control over the text. You want to always have the same uh, spacing and the same style, but you want to have control over the text. So let's go ahead and create a symbol from this. So I'm going to create a symbol and right away, I'm, I'm going to use cell slash label. And I'm going to explain why the slash in a moment. And I'm going to do the same with this one. This is a cell, but this one is switch off. Okay, cool. And actually, I think I, I mixed up. This one should be switch off and this should be label, but we can change it in a moment. Anyway, here, as you will see, it has over here on the right, instead of all the different elements that you will have on a normal layer, you have something that is called overwrites. And this one will detect any text layer here and it, you can overwrite it. So by default, it gives you a label, but you can say uh, notifications, for example notifications, you change it there and then it changes here. See how it's not changing the style or anything. If I want to change the style, I can just double click on it. And then here, instead of uh, black, I'm going to do it red. I don't know why, but it, now it changes here. It's respecting my value that I put on it, that it which is notifications, but it's just re also respecting the style from the, uh, from the, from the symbol. I'm going to undo that real quickly. 
and then cool i have those two new symbols let's double click them and now that i have them here i can actually just just for the sake of being organized i can organize them here i can here i, I organize these two together that way uh i can here now edit them so this one actually should be switch off so i can just rename it to switch switch off and then this one should be should be just label labels label no let's put it info that way it, it's telling me about this info because they all have labels okay cool so uh i created this and then even here i can duplicate for example this one and i can say you know what i'm going to create a new symbol and i'm here on the symbols page and i can create new symbols and this one is going to say no info for example no info and then i delete this info and there you go just a normal cell with no info it just has a label and obviously probably you don't it, we're using these uh icons here uh but probably the icons is something that you will probably want to edit but let's keep it for now so over here let's uh let me move this a little bit here and i'm going to duplicate this duplicate it again and now i can go ahead and this one should not have info so i'm going to do this and on this one is the info instead of sketch together is going to be uh two items for example and then the label instead of label i'm going to call it uh i don't know resistance i don't know why resistance and this one is going to say uh settings there you go and now see how everything i have control over the labels i still have freedom of changing them and it's respecting all the different values like colors and style and that way it's just like if, if you change it any for example here if i were to put over here i can just like duplicate the symbol i have the symbol i let me uh let me use the same symbol in different places so you can see the power of the symbols here here and here and on this one i'm going to say yo so and this one is going to have nothing oops sorry it's going to say nothing <laughs> that's what's going to say and then the label is going to say what's up <laughs> okay this is done but you, you get what i'm saying sketch there you go so now that i change it there you know what i double click on it and you know what is going to happen you know what i'm going to change this instead of uh, regular I'm going to change it to both and this one is going to be instead of uh, this medium gray i'm going to say even lighter gray then i go back and it changed everywhere it respected the labels it's keeping the same labels no label at all i'm going to put it here and but it's respected all the values from the symbol of the uh different style so it becomes pretty powerful and it will help you a lot a lot in your workflow um, as you notice here i have other instances of this i have these two switches so since i sometimes i use the switch on and switch off i i can create a symbol from that so i'm going to create a symbol that is called switch oops switch off and this one is going to call switch slash on cool and i want to tell you about the slash why did i name it switch slash off the thing is this once you go to insert you can go to symbols here and then you will see that it groups things by the name that you gave it so for example all the cells are now inside that i call cell slash something now they're grouped here and that way i keep my symbols a little bit more organized and i can just like i press on and i can put it anywhere in my artboard okay that's cool i created those symbols and now i want to put it here that way i'm using the same symbol everywhere so over here this thing is not a symbol this is just a group a regular group but i can actually get to put this symbol i'm going to duplicate it i'm going to drag it and put it over here oops sorry no that's not how it done <laughs> i'm sorry no you have to insert the symbol here so i'm going to put switch off and i'm going to put it right here and see how this is a symbol that is inside this so now i'm going to put up the three there you go my spacing is good and now if i were to change it here it changes here too see how how cool is that since this is the parent this is just following this so uh, it's pretty powerful when nesting symbols inside symbols because uh that way you you can go a little bit more granular on 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 on, on the elements so so yeah i can now for example, I can duplicate this one 
and this one I'm going to call it switch on and obviously you know what I'm going to do. So instead of having the switch off, I'm going to put switch on and I have a different layer that does that. I go back here and you know what? Now notification should be on. I can just change it and there it goes. And then if I were to double click on this and if I were to change the color of this instead of this, uh, uh, this instead of the screen I want to use a blue, I change it here and it changes over here too where I'm using that same symbol inside this symbol. It's like a symbol, symbolception. There you go. Okay, cool. So that's cool. And another th cool thing about symbols, for example, another example is when you use buttons. So buttons, sometimes you want to have a primary button, a secondary button. You do the same. I create a symbol, button slash primary, create another one, button slash secondary. And then over here, if I want to use this same button, but I want to say uh, continue, for example, I can change it here and I change the label. And you know what? Instead of white, I want it to be, instead of secondary, I want it to be primary. You can just change that. And it's going to say uh, continue. Continue. And I go and I edit this. And you know what? Instead of blue, we want it to be green because, because I don't know, because it's cool. Because things change. And there you go. It changed here and it changes everywhere. Uh, so yeah. Now, the cool thing also about symbols, it can get pretty complex. That was pretty simple. But sometimes you want to have uh, control, not just overrides, not just on text, but also on images. So for example, here, all these are groups. As you can see, these all these have layers and everything. Uh, but it would be better if I just have a symbol. So I'm going to actually just create a symbol out of this, where this one is the, the main uh, title. I'm going to actually call it here title. This one is going to be info. And this one is going to be, I'm going to move it around here. This one is a uh, uh, primary and then secondary. So primary and secondary action. And then I have my background and I'm, I think I'm ready. I'm going to select this uh, group, which is called cart. And I'm going to create a new symbol. And there you go. I create the symbol and I can duplicate this symbol over here. And let's duplicate it again over here. I create a grid. And for example, this one, it, it is using that same symbol. They're all using the same symbol, but I want to change the titles and the images, not just the, the text. So for example, this one, I want to change the image and it will change it for me. I can automatically choose a different image. So I'm going to go to here. I have it downloads I'm going to use uh, Mexico and boom, automatically respected everything. It just changed the, the image and I can just go ahead and the title is going to be Mexico and the info is it's the best city ever. Arriba, amigos. There you go. And then, vamos. <laughs> vamos. Uh, hold on. Apparently, I did it did a little bit smaller than it should be, but that's okay. I can just double click on it and I can make that text layer a little bit bigger and it will be a fine. Actually, I'm going to say it auto instead of fixed auto. Then I go back. And now it it it, it, fi it is fixed. I'm also going to add a couple of these. There you go. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to choose a different image. I'm going to choose Boston. And that's cool, right? Uh, that's uh, pretty easy. But also, like, I can edit any time. And you know what? The cards should be a little bit smaller. So I can just do it here. I do it once. I do that change once. And let's see what happens. See how all the cards are changed now. I still have to adjust them. But it's a, that's easy Com compared to all the work that I would have need to do. So over here, apparently, I did not do my job the right way. Let me also change the size of the background. I'm going to change the size of the background. There you go. And the change of the, the rectangle, it's zero, zero. Let's put it at zero, too. There you go. And then let's do the same with the background. Apparently, it's, it should be zero. I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. Let's go back to return to instance. And now we see that everything is in order. And it changed everywhere. It respected the size of the images, respected the labels. All it did, I changed the style, the sizing, and it was perfect. Actually, I'm going to change this to a little bit bolder. Do bold, go back, and it's bold everywhere. So as you can see, symbols can be your best, best friend when you're using Sketch. So go ahead and give it a try.